If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead Night with You and Me first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Caller, you've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working late shift here at the, uh, yacht club. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is, uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I, uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, I like that. Yeah, they were nice. I like it. Um, yes. Arrivederci, Vigo. <laughs> Hello, caller. I am. Is tonight a rerun? Yep. Caller number three. What's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report the stuff on the news because they own the news. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? People need to hear this. They need to know the real story. You've got our undivided attention. Crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship were futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Bain. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Bain to assist them in their search. We'll have more on the story as it breaks. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. In other news, an apparent third victim of the Southland Slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slings in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as ripped, torn, bloody entrails smeared upon the walls, splatter on broken windows, feet in weird places, murder, murder, murder. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Tiggins, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have... You don't stop. I'm going to have to make a deposit. 